Bonjour Genie Engineers, welcome to my problem a day series. In this video, we're going to do a problem on steel design. We're going to calculate the design compressive strength. The reason I picked this problem for today is because I got the same exact question on my FE exam and so I wanted to share it with you guys. Now, if you're here for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. Okay guys, so we are giving a column that has a size of W10 by 60 and it has a length of 15 feet. And we need to determine the design compressive strength about the weak axis in kips. So before we start solving, I just want to talk about the seal equations on the NCS handbook. So they usually uh, enter the civil engineering section and it starts on page 163. And then here, under the columns, we have, um, it's given to us the design compressive strength, which is 50N, but then here, we're giving the equation for the nominal compressive strength. So make sure you guys understand the difference between the two. Um, I actually talked about this in the concrete, when we dealt with design uh, moment strength for concrete, I will leave uh, the link above if you guys want to check it out but I definitely recommend it because in there I talk about the different the three difference um, for moments and that can be applied to concrete to steel to compressive members flexural members you should definitely check it out so I'm going to briefly explain it here and just like a review so we have uh, pn which is the nominal compressive strength and then when we multiply it by phi then we have the design uh, compressive strength. So we multiply by phi for design reasons because we want to be a little bit conservative, make sure our design works. Um, and then we have PU, which is the fractured uh, compressive strength. And that one is just uh, pretty much the demand capacity of our column. And usually we have to use the uh, load combination 1.2 times dead load plus uh, 1.6 times live load. Uh, again, I explained this more in depth in the previous video, so I definitely re recommend that you guys uh, check it out. Okay, first we're going to write the equation for the nominal compressive strength, and then at the end uh, we're going to multiply by phi so that we get the design compressive strength. Also, I'm going to show you guys two uh, methods how to solve this problem. The first one, we're going to go a little bit in depth just so you guys understand the equations that are provided here. And the second method is actually a little bit faster. If you can use it in the test, that's great. And we ju usually just use a table and we get a uh, quick answer. Okay, so let's do method A so that we can differentiate it between uh, the second method. Okay, so uh, let's write PN is equal to F critical this is your uh, critical stress times the gross area this is for your section uh, this is really easy to get so we're just going to get it from the table here uh, if you go to page 165 and then you here we are giving the shapes we're giving area depth web anything you need here it's provided to you so um, the area is equal to 17.6 inches squared. So again, I picked this area because I have section 10, 60, 10 by 60 and that's what I have, W10 by 60. And I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and write RY because I know I'm gonna need it later. So uh, when we're calculating the effective length, so let me just write it down. Ry is equal to 2.57 inches. Okay, so let's go back to the equation uh, page. Okay, so the next thing we're going to calculate is the F critical. So to calculate this, first we need to actually determine the um, effective slenderness ratio, uh, KL over R, and we need to see if it's less than or equal to or greater than 4.71 times the square root of E over Fy. Uh, and then from there, we can pick or select which equation we need to use so that we can calculate the uh, stress, uh, the critical stress. Okay, so let's start first by calculating KL over R. So we have KL over R. Also something to keep in mind, since uh, in the question it was mentioned that uh, about the weak axis, so just so you know, this is going to, you have to use RY. So as you guys saw on the table earlier, 
this one you have ry and you have rx because it said it is around the y-axis we had to select ry so just keep that in mind okay so k because we have pin pin condition k is going to be equal to 1 and uh, the way I know that is because again I looked at the table there's a table right here if you look at here you have pin pin uh, pin to pin condition and that's equals to 1 also if let's say we had a fixed fixed condition we have we will use 0 0.65 what I'm trying to say is Try to use the design value, not the theoretical value. That's what we usually use uh, when it comes to this equation. So L we have is given to us as 15 feet. And then I'm going to leave space here. You guys will see why. And then we're going to divide that by RY, which is 2.57 inches. So here's something that a lot of people um, do a mistake on. It's the units. Because here you have inches, you got to make sure that you convert this into inches. So make sure you multiply this by 12 inches per foot. So this is just for conversion. If you if you don't convert it, you will get the wrong answer, obviously. So uh, make sure you do that. So once you plug in this in your calculator, you should get an answer of 70.04. And it's uh, unitless because interest cancels with interest. So th that's your answer. The next thing we're going to calculate is the, the other second part of the equation, the 4.71 times the square root of E. Let's write it down. Square root of E over Fy. So I have 4.71. The square root of E is given to you right here. A lot of people um, try to memorize it. You don't really have to memorize it. It's just it's given to you. For steel, it's 29,000 KSI. Divide that by FY. FY, usually it's 50 KSI. If you go to the tables, um, again, if you go to the W table that we saw earlier, this one, I believe it's given somewhere here, or if not, um, it's on the next page. So here you see FY is 50 KSI. So you don't have to memorize it, but just remember where it is in case you forget it in the test. So Fy is 50 KSI. So your units cancels, which is great. That's what we want. Uh, if you plug in these numbers, you will get an answer of 113.43. One, so obviously, we have KL over RY is less than 4.71 square root of E over fy so because it's less than we're going to use this equation f critical let me write it here so f critical is equal to 0 0.658 then we have to the power of fy divided by fe and this whole thing is multiplied by fy so the next thing we need to do is calculate fe so fe is equal to the equation for Fe is really small but it's given to you right here so just remember that um, so we have pi squared times E divided by KL over R Y squared so let's put in numbers so we have E is 29,000 KSI KL over RY, we already calculated that earlier, and it's 70.04 squared. So if you plug in this, it will give you, you should get an answer of 58.34 KSI, right? Because we have no units here, and so the only unit here you have is from E, which is KSI. So that's your FE. Now... We're going to go back to this equation. I'm just going to write it here so that we have more space. So I have F critical is equal to 0 0.658 to the power of Fy. So Fy is 50 KSI divided by 58.34 KSI. So the unit cancels. 
I, ju- I like to keep track of the units, guys, just in case it's very important to do that when, you, when you're doing practice problems. It really helps you prevent doing mistakes. Okay, times Fy is again 50 KSI. So if you plug in this, uh, you should get an answer of 34.9 KSI. So now we barely just found F critical. So we're going to go to our first equation, let's call this one, and we need to uh, plug in F critical and AG. Okay, so we have Pn is equal to F critical times cross area. So we have 34.9 KSI multiplied by 17.6 inch squared. So this is kips per inch squared. So inches squared with inch squared cancel. So you left with kips and that's exactly what we are looking for. So if you plug in this, uh, you will get an answer of 614.24 kips. But we're not done yet. We just calculated the nominal and the question asked for the design compressive strength. So to find the design compressive strength, you do free PN times phi times uh, this number, 614.24 kips. And this should give you 552.82 kips. Okay, guys, so now that you understand these equations and how to use them, I'm going to jump in and show you how to use an easier method. However, in the test, you might be giving a section that's not on the table and you not be able, you might not be able to use uh, this method that I'm about to show you. So it's important to understand uh, method A. So let's call this method B. So let's write the equation again. So we have Pn is equal to F critical times AG. So we found the uh, effective slenderness ratio, which is 70.04, correct? I'm not going to recalculate it, but we did earlier. So if you go to table, uh, I believe this one, yes, 422, page 169, you are giving KL over R, which is the effective slenderness ratio, and you are giving the phi F critical. The, the critical stress. So we have 70 here. So let's locate 70. So I have KL over R is equal to 70. It's right here. My F critical is 31.4. But keep in mind that this is phi F critical. So it's not just F critical. So wait, we can, let's write it down. So let's write this. Phi F critical is equal to, I forgot what we said, 31.4. So we have 31.4 K, KSI, kips per inch squared. So to use this equation here, this is going to automatically just give us phi PN, right? We don't need to multiply by 0 0.9 because it's already uh, given. And I'm sorry, guys, I forgot to mention here, this phi is actually 0 0.9. Okay, so we have phi PN is equal to phi F critical times AG. So this, you're just going to replace it here. So we have 31.4 KSI multiplied by, I believe it was 17.6 inch squared. Again, inch squared with inch squared cancel, so you're left with kips. So if you plug in this in your calculator, you should get an answer of 552.64. Um, so if you guys notice, it's they're very close the answer so there isn't really much difference they should be close you should get the same answer um, also I want to mention one more thing let's say in the test you were given to calculate just nominal compressive strength right and then you have f critical times this and you let's say you wanted to use this table because you know it's really fast so what you do you got to actually make sure that when you get the value from the table phi critical just divide it by phi, which is uh, 0 0.9. So that way you can get phi critical and then you can just plug it in this and then you can get the nominal compressive strength instead of the design compressive strength. So this is why it's important and I keep emphasizing on this 
to understand the difference between the three terms. You have the nominal, we have the design, and we have the factored. Okay, guys, so don't forget to do the problem with me as you go because the best way to learn something is by doing it. And remember, a problem a day keeps the F away. And if you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. À la prochaine! Oh yeah, everybody now.